Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shawcraft One and my old barn door. And um, I was going to give you a moving update, but I also have some folio journals that I'm going to be putting in the shop. Um, so the moving update is we're moving this weekend, <laughs> probably starting tomorrow evening. Um, Sunshine's brother comes to our town to work, so um, we're hoping that he can come by with his truck and get a load for us. And so I said all that to say, basically, um, this will be the last entry into the shop for a few days. Um, um, it may also be the last video. I think I have one more video that I have that I can release for tomorrow. Um, today's Wednesday. Um so, I think I have one more video that I can release for tomorrow, and then you probably won't see me for a few days, simply because I've just run out of time <laughs> to record videos in advance. I did record the one for that I released yesterday for Terry Steffi's journal. I recorded it last week, so I was able to release that. So, anyways... We'll be moving this weekend for all of my artists um, who put journals in the booth. Um, I will do the address change on Friday. So after Friday, you can start sending your journals to the new address. Okay. Um, so anyways, let's take a peek. Oh, I also wanted to say thank you to all of you who have given me such kind and beautiful comments um, on my video about my sweet friend Susie. Um, I've cried for two days solid. Um, I'm hoping today is a better day. Uh, I've just really been heartbroken over that. You know, she had communicated to me a lot through her diagnosis and her treatments. And, um, the last email she sent me was things were looking up because they, um, got some good news. And so, um, I think that is another reason why I was as devastated as I was is because I thought things were getting better. Um, and I felt a little guilty because, you know, in the midst of all of this moving and having COVID and things like that, I haven't had the opportunity to check on my friends as much as I normally do. And so I kind of felt like, you know, I felt really bad because I didn't get to check on her as much as I wanted to. So, um, thank you all so much for your wonderful, beautiful responses to that video. I will be answering those comments today. Um, and then once I finish this video and, um, shipping and doing, you know, answering the comments, then I will begin packing up the craft room. So I won't have, <laughs> I won't have access to be able to do videos and things like that so anyways let's um let's take a peek in these journals they're super cute i love the way they turned out and i just kind of wanted to give you guys um you know something to have in the shop while i'm um kind of in the midst of moving so these are um they're done in the bird waltz collection of papers um cardstock papers and i think it's a beautiful beautiful collection they're all tied with seam binding and a button um, and then some of them have something on the front and some of them don't. They each do have dangles coming out the bottom. And I'm not going to open every one of them. They are all similar in style uh, and um, what's in them. But, you know, of course, there will be some differences. So uh, this one is, um, you know, I should probably, well, I'll put numbers on um, on the Etsy listing so you'll be able to find them. Um, so here you have the front pocket. I love, love the bird waltz paper. It's got the beautiful birds on it. Um, and then, so in the, I put the pocket at the top cause I didn't want to cover up the beautiful birds. So you get, um, one of my clusters, um, a little cutout from one of the bird waltz papers, like a journaling card and then another journaling card. So I'm just putting, you know, pretty stuff in the pockets for you to be able to play with in your journal um because i um well with these journals normally with the folio journals i don't decorate the journal pages but with these i did decorate the journal pages so i'll do a flip through and kind of show you that and give you an idea um, so in the back i have a belly band here i've got some uh, some of my vintage stationery. This is a little journaling card. I'm not going to pull all of this out. 
Got a journaling card, a tag, some tickets, and a vintage playing card. Um, and then, if you flip it over, here you have a belly band, and you have another one of my um, clusters in the belly band. You've got some vellum, a vintage ice, uh, um, ice coupon or receipt, and then um, a little vintage style journaling card, or you can make a tag out of it. This is one of the tags with my parchment paper and napkins on it, stitched, and so I kind of just left the raw tag for you to be able to, <clears throat> excuse me, embellish it and decorate it the way you want to. So let me get all of this tucked back in here. Maybe, if I can. <laughs> there we go. Okay, and so this is the folio part. So you open it up here. You have all kinds of goodies in this pocket. There's um, little uh, cut out flowers. There's journaling cards. Um, there's vintage playing cards. Um, again, you have one of the journaling cards from the paper pack, the Bird Watch bird waltz paper pack uh, one of my scripture cards um, and then just you know things you can play with um, again on this in this belly band i have um one of my um my inked envelopes and just to, for y'all to know sometimes the envelopes stick together um you know see like right here but i just decorate that part so you don't see it but um so some of you know you may, you may get an envelope that's sealed, but you can unseal it. Excuse me. You can unseal it. So you've got some vintage stationery in here and another floral cutout. And then you open up this part. You have one of my coffee dyed guest checks, a tag. This is another, um, I think this is another card, journaling card from the paper pack. Some vintage uh, playing cards, and then in this side, you get one of the smaller um, cutouts from the paper pack. Um, and like I say, each one has different ephemera in it, but it's generally you know all similar. So, um, you have some um, vintage cigarette coupons, I think these are cigarette coupon coupons, um, and some journaling cards. This is a little coin envelope. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. So this one, there's this one. Uh-oh, hang on, let me fix my camera. Okay, sorry about that. My camera was falling. <laughs> All right, so you have this one, and then there's this one. These are the beads hanging from it. It's tied with the seam binding and the button. Um, I'll just... Oh, I didn't flip through the pages of that one. I'll, I'll open this one and flip through the pages of this one. Okay, so I'll show you the folio part. You have a belly band here, belly band here, a pocket here filled with all kinds of goodies, and a po two pockets inside there. So that kind of gives you an idea, you know, of maybe the differences of each. Um, see here, you have the pocket on the bottom, and it's stuffed with all kinds of goodies. And then you have the pocket in the back, and it's stuffed as well. So I'll flip through the pages on this one so you can kind of see. I've put, <clears throat> excuse me, some of my um, clusters and the stitched collage pieces in here. We have some music pages and some of the um, masking paper pages. Another, this is one of my stitched collage pieces. Um, I've done some um, collaging in the journal on some of the pages, like here. And then these are some digitals that a friend gave me, so I don't know whose digitals they are. If they're your digitals, put that in the comment box below. Um, you have some ledger paper, and some collaging there, some lined pages. And I put lots of my coffee dyed pages in here. Some collaging. Another cluster. So I'm just doing a quick flip through. Um, so these are some of my parchment pa pa pages. This is um, 
one of my digitals um, from Debbie Long. Um, there's uh, several digitals in my shop of hers, and so I use some of those in here. And so that's what that one looks like. Let me pull the next one. So this one, you have the pretty little dangles here. You have the seam binding closure with the button. Each journal has 60 pages in it. So it's a good size little journal for you to be able to put all your fun stuff into. I'll just flip through this one real quick. I'm going to do it quickly. But it'll just kind of give you an idea of, you know, the small differences in each one or whatever. My goodness, I don't know if y'all can hear Remington's stomach, but her stomach's just a growling. I'm going to have to go feed her when I finish this video. Ha! She might need to go outside and eat some grass. <laughs> Got some vintage tickets there. Some of the pages have stickers. There's the pocket in that one. And then the back side, you have a belly band here. And it's stuffed with all kind of goodies. Belly band here and a pocket here. And then two pockets on the inside. So there's that one. Then there is this one. Here's your dangles. Beautiful, beautiful dangles hanging off of that one. Um, we'll do the folio part first. On this one, it had really pretty stuff here at the bottom, so I did the pocket at the top. So you've got all your goodies in there. You have a belly band here stuffed with goodies. These are some of our parchment paper tags that we did together. Belly band there, and then two pockets on the inside that are stuffed with goodies. Fun stuff. Okay. And then you have a side pocket here. So it had the pretty dragonfly here on the paper. So I did the side pocket so I didn't cover up the dragonfly. I'm just going to flip quickly through. I'm not, um, not showing all the pages, but just kind of doing a quick flip through. Just so you can kind of have an idea of what they look like. I love that page. Um, this is from my Pretty Papers Digital in the shop. And then a stuffed pocket in the back. Okay, and then the last one. Nope, I have two more. I have this one. This is different from the other one. There's your dangles on that one. How have I done this? Oh, it's twisted. <laughs> okay, we'll do the folio part first. So you have a belly bin here stuffed with all kinds of goodies. Side pocket and this pocket. This is, um, these are vintage train tickets, I think, from Czechla Czechoslovakia, maybe. And then you have Goodies stuffed into these pockets. Whoops. Okay. Then you have the front pocket here stuffed with goodies. You've got some Oz coupons here. very hard for me to leave pages blank <laughs> but I'm I'm always constantly having to tell myself don't fill up every page leave something for the person who gets the journal to do because <laughs> that's the fun of it is getting to play in your journal so that's a hard part for me and then you have the stuffed pocket in the back so that's that one and then the last one is this one, which I think is really, really pretty with the pink flowers. Oh, there's your dangles on that one. OK, 
Okay, we'll do the folio part first. This one I left blank because I just love this paper. Um, so you have the belly band here, pocket here, pocket here, and pocket here. Even though um, this one doesn't have a pocket, I still have stuffed it just as full as I did the other ones. I just stuffed these pockets more. <laughs> so there's your ice coupons. Okay, so then on the inside here, you have the pocket at the top here because you have the beautiful bird and flowers at the bottom. Just flip through this one quickly. And then your stuffed pocket in the back. So these are, I only have six um, of these. These are um, garden folio journals. So um, you'll be able to find them in the shop. They'll all be in one listing with a pull down menu for you to choose which journal that you want. Um, again, um, I hope that you guys are going to be okay. That, um, you know, I don't have more videos. I just, again, I just kind of ran out of time and wasn't able to get to it, um, especially with the devastating news that I got at the beginning of the week. I, it, it kind of threw me for a loop for a couple of days, so um, I'm much better now, though, and i um, just going to celebrate and, um, and get to packing. So, if you have any comments or questions, you can leave them in the comment box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for me, if you will. And I hope y'all have a great day, and I'll see you next week. Big hugs.